Hi there, uh, welcome to my, hi there, my name is Coda Bacon, welcome to my final video of the year. Um, we had a good year in CM, and uh, let's, I'll tell you all about what I did. Uh, first, we did our photos, which, I'm sorry, I don't have them in a, I don't have them in a, uh, in a good quality, but, uh, first we took portraits, and... Uh, sorry, it's being slow. And a low light photo, just to see if we could. Uh, depth of field, which was where I took. You see right here, my mouse probably isn't highlighted, but uh, I have my uh, keyboard in view, and then the rest is out of focus, just so I can make that depth. And then I went for an action shot, which is just me here jumping off. All right. And then our theme, we had three, three step, and. Uh, I'll just show you my final six or five that I picked. First, I have my uh, black and white. Sorry, it's taking so long. Um, my natural light, where I had the light come in from the left side and illuminate the can. A night scene, which I took a long exposure shot of a laser pointer with. Uh, old, lost, and forgotten of this older calculator. And a portrait of myself. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, yeah, and my student choice of a bunny. My bunny. And then we started our photorealism. I just X out of the thing. Right. So first I had my stop sign. Where is it? Where is my stop sign? Oh. Alright, so apparently I do not have a stop sign, so I guess I'll just move on to my wood project. Let's say wood block that I carved my name into. And now, um, and then we had our, uh, stone project, which I cannot seem to find either. And then we had our gold chain, which was not this one, this one, where I would put a gold chain around my neck. And then uh, we had paper towel, which is where I would draw this paper towel and I put it in a background. And then we had our bottle, which is where I drew a bottle, like this. And I put it also in a background setting of my choice. I'm very sorry about the background noise. Oh crap, uh, I'm opening it wrong, sorry. For my. <laughs> uh, for my final. Pro for my student choice photorealism, I drew a coin of my own choosing and I put it in a pile of coins. He's right there. Oh, sorry about this, I accidentally opened Photoshop. Alright, and next we had our, um, next we had our videos. Our first video was our Star Trek Beam Effect video, which was right here. And I guess we will take a watch of that. Hello there, and today I'm going to tell you something very important. With the magic of editing, I can teleport.
and then we had our clone effect video which is right here Hello there, clones, and welcome to your first day here at Bacon Inc., where we've been cloning the Bacon family since 1966. Why they haven't shared the secret is beyond us, but you don't get to ask questions because you're a clone. Alright, so here we'll lay down for a few ground rules. Pay attention to the schedule. If you have a certain day that you're supposed to be doing something, and you don't show up, and another clone shows up without prior knowledge of the thing he's doing, we are all done. They're going to discover us. The CIA is going to come in here, and it's going to be like, you guys ever saw E.T.? Except nobody's going to get sick. We're all just going to get rounded up. And they're going to take the technology. We're going to ruin the fun for everybody. Um, uh, keep in contact with the other clones, because you guys have to remember who was wearing what, what day. We, we can only pass off the laundry excuse so many times. Um... Uh, rule number three is uh, don't get teachers mixed up and uh, don't try too hard because if we try too hard then they're going to ask stuff of us and the original Dakota, me, will be very angry at you. I know we can be smart, but we aren't because we're lazy. You should be lazy too. You don't have free will because you're a clone. You also don't have a name, but some of them just come up with names. Because you guys somehow have individual personality traits. Kind of like Smurfs. It's fun. So, yeah. Let's do this. Be a clone. We make you guys two at a time. This will be your pair. I don't know how long you guys live for. Sorry about dropping that bomb on you, too. You guys don't exactly live like normal humans. Um, welcome. Bye. Once again, I'd just like to apologize for the background noise. Mr. Lendrum was barking other projects. Um, then next we had our uh, student choice, actually. And this is our final, this is my final video for the year, if I can find it. Oh, sorry, excuse me one sec, I have to plug in my hard drive just to get this one, because it's on a different storage device thingy. Just give me a sec. Mm -hmm. This is the one. No, oh, sorry about that. This Welcome. is the one. There we go. Sorry about that. Hello there. Welcome to the first annual Ninja Championships. You have to hit hands, and there's when you, you when you swipe at a person, you can make one move.
watching. <laughs> Alright, and that would be all my projects for the year. Um... And there were some questions that I had to answer. And uh, I, I know what I do. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Um, uh, we learn different things in each module, like uh, how to adjust our apertures, shutter speed, and take better pictures in uh, in uh, with photos. Yeah. Um, with the photorealism, we learned how to actually draw the things and make like uh, texture and sort of stuff. And videos, we learned about using microphones and framing and all that. And I think e those are each a skill that I developed in in uh, each module because they are something new that I got to learn. I can use these skills in the future because I really want to become a photographer, and uh, that can really help me out with getting some knowledge ahead of time. Um, there are lots of career opportunities like photography, graphic design, and even videography, but not, I wouldn't say that's a CM20, that's more of a CM30. Um, this class means a lot to me because it's a, it's a new, it's, it's a different class and it teaches me skills that I didn't really think that I would learn in, uh, in high school. Um, thank you for taking your time out to watch this video. Uh, I'm sorry that it's so jumpy. But uh, thank you, and uh, goodbye.